Well, Russian President Vladimir Putin says he is willing to have dialogue with his U.S. counterpart, but will it happen? CCTV's Tom Barton has more from Moscow. With tensions high in Ukraine, Russia's military might is a major concern for Kiev and the Western governments that back it. But as U.S. President Obama announces extra funding for training and deployments in Europe, many in Moscow feel Washington is motivated by its declining global influence. America is weaker now. It has no money, uh, not enough money for uh, strong uh, policy. And uh, in, in the process, uh, he's uh, trying to, to break up uh, the old groupings like uh, EU, uh, NATO, even, uh, which is uh, even American, but still uh, to, um, to, to put up one main members of these um, groupings against others, uh, which will uh, amount to uh, weakening uh, everyone who is powerful on, on a regional level. Russia's government has repeatedly denied arming or supporting pro-Russian militants in the east of Ukraine and instead says that Kiev is using the army against its own people. President Obama called on Russia's President Putin to rebuild trust shattered by Russia's actions in Ukraine. But Timofey Bordachev says it's the US and EU that have broken international trust when it comes to forcing Ukraine to choose between east and west. There is a shared belief in Russian elite that European Union first and the United States later uh, destroyed this unofficial agreement while taking, forcefully taking Ukraine. Obama says Putin has to make a choice over Ukraine to remove troops fully from the border and use Moscow's influence over separatists to make them step back from recent actions. Putin says there are no military personnel in southeast Ukraine and that Kiev must talk to the pro-Russian separatists. Tom Barton, CCTV, Moscow.